Hi everyone. Welcome to the screencast on WebSocket APIs with Corio Connect 110. Today we will discuss what are the features brings to the API management capabilities for WebSocket APIs with Corio Connect 110. I am Renuka Fernando, a senior software engineer from WSO2. As REST API support, rate limiting, API insights with previous release of Corio Connect, in this release, rate limiting API insights and multiple topics are supported for WebSocket APIs. This release of Corio Connect supports multiple topics for WebSocket APIs and URL mapping. For example, you can have a topic notification which will map to URL notification in the backend. Another topic with path parameter room ID which will map to a query param room in the backend. Corio Connect can be configured to enable publishing analytics to Corio, which help to get insights of APIs. Here, Corio is a digital platform as a service provided by WSO2. Traffic distribution of all API or particular API or particular applications, error request counts, request counts based on devices, and downloadable reports are some features provided by Corio platform. Rate limiting allows you to limit the number of successful hits to an API during a given period, which enables you to protect your APIs from common types of security attacks such as DDoS, and to regulate traffic according to infrastructure availability or for monetization purpose. Corio Connect supports advanced level, application level, and subscription level rate limiting based on event count or data bandwidth. Let's have a quick demo with discussed features. For this demo, let's use the chat room application used in the WebSocket tutorial section in API Manager documentation. I have started the Corio Connect with APIM Docker Compose setup and the chat room application service in the same Docker Compose and expose it to the host. So first, let's directly invoke the sample backend without Corio Connect in place. Let's open three terminals, one for notifications, which gets notifications when someone join a room, and two for two users who join to room one. I have created a WebSocket API from API Manager called Chats with context chats and version v1. Endpoint WS Chats app 8080. In here, host is the Docker Compose service name. I have configured topics, notifications, and room room ID with both pub and sub. Enabled security and URL mapping. This will be also applied to sub as well in Corio Connect. Corio Connect will not enforce the direction of events whether you select only pub or sub. I have deployed the API to Corio Connect and published it. Let's invoke with an invalid token. Let's take a token from the portal and delete a character. Access is not granted. Then let's invoke with a valid token and have some chats. Now let's apply some rate limiting to the chat API. I have created an advanced policy called 1KB per minute. So let's go to publisher and apply the advanced rate limiting policy.
let's chat with the, this payload this contain 428 characters so only uh, we will be able to chat three times with this payload now api is rate limited chat text is not received by others because of the async behavior it will not rate limited at the exact point what we have configured it will rate limit with a few steps after the exact amount now let's see analytics this is the overview page we can select time period environment and tenant traffic and errors from this video we focused on how API management capabilities work for web server APIs in Corio Connect 110. Hope this video is useful and thank you for watching. See you next time.